This is the most basic set used in the laparoscopy for most of the surgical procedures which are performed laparoscopically either it is cholecystectomy either it is laparoscopic appendicectomy or either it is laparoscopic salpingectomy the very first instrument you are seeing on the screen it's the semi traumatic grasper it causes the plastic deformation of the tissue and you will only apply this instrument when you are going to remove that tissue afterwards so you are seeing the close up view it's prongs <laughs> there are serrations on it and it's a very long instrument now the next instrument on your screen it is known as the clip applicator and this is the final view of the clip applicator and its edges i am going to show you and it is used to apply the clips in case of laparoscopic cholecystectomy or uh, when you are performing the laparoscopic appendicectomy or in any surgery when you are going to apply the clips you will use this clip applicator now the next instrument it is the most commonly used instrument in the laparoscopy and this is known as the maryland uh, some surgeons call this instrument as a krill it has a fine tip for grabbing a small bit of peritoneum but a relatively long length allowing it to spread very wide when used for the blunt dissection and you are seeing the close up view of this maryland now the next instrument you are seeing on the screen it's the do subscribe by clicking on the red button below the laparoscopic fenestrated grasper and you are seeing the fenestration you are seeing the hole in the close up view it is the non traumatic grasper which is used for grasping the various tissues in case of laparoscopy and here i am going to show the zoomed out view of this instrument <coughs> it has hole and it has got serrations now now the next instrument on your screen it is basically sucker nozzle in case of laparoscopy it is used to suck the fluid when it is attached to the sucker this beautiful instrument you are seeing on the screen this is the laparoscopic l hook and it is used in the minimal invasive laparoscopic surgical procedures for coagulating cauterizing and the other manipulation of the tissues and vessels during the laparoscopic procedures now you are seeing the laparoscopic scissor on your screen and the close up view i am showing you and it is used to cut a variety of tissues including fibrotic or the calcified tissues sutures also well now you are seeing on the screen varus needle basically this is a spring loaded instrument when you press on the hard surface its blunt component goes backward but when it comes in touch with the soft tissue its soft part its blunt part comes into action here i am going to show you in the close up view its mechanism of action now you are clearly seeing that it's a spring loaded instrument and for the beginners it is very good now this instrument you are seeing on the screen basically this is the myomectomy screw laparoscopic myomectomy screw basically and in the close up view you are clearly seeing that <coughs> This is a very basic uh, set of instruments. This is not collection of all the instruments. And now you are seeing the for the aspiration in different uh, various laparoscopic procedures. In the close up view, I am zooming this out. I am focusing this out so that you can better differentiate this instrument when it comes into your vision. Well, this is the zoomed out view. This is the final view. I am going to show you. Well, this is also the most commonly used uh, laparoscopic instrument. Basically, this is the knot pusher, and when it will be focused, you will be seeing that there is a hole <coughs> uh, in its tip. Here, uh, you are seeing the hole from which the suture will be passed, and you will push it. And this is the knot pusher. Now, uh, you are seeing the. ports various there are basically the various sizes of the ports most commonly 5 mm port 10 mm port and the 15 mm port or the 12 mm port is there and again ports there are two types one is without reducer 
other is with reducer this is the port without the reducer and in the next instrument i will show you port with the reducer and its various components are there and this is a zoomed out view you can see the all the components of this port and in the further lectures i will show you how to hold ports how to do entry this is the port with the reducer and you are clearly differentiating from the uh, previous one and there is reducer uh, frankly speaking this is known as the cannula when you put the trocar in it basically there are different sizes of the trocar later on i am going to show you when the trocar and the cannula both combines then it uh, becomes the port laparoscopic port from which you will enter the instruments and this is the zoomed out view this is the upward view you are clearly seeing on the screen and this is the trocar and there are various uh, types of the trocar they might be blunt they might be sharp and they are of different sizes used for the various purposes so finally this is the end and if you learned something from our video then do subscribe our channel for more medical content <clears throat> and this is the zoomed out view so thank you so much for watching the video here we are going to demonstrate to uh, different instruments uh, which are used in the laparotomy and they are the most commonly used instruments uh, have a closer look on these uh, so we will discuss one by one name and these uses the instruments uh, you are seeing on the screen is a morus retractor it is used by the surgeons and the gynecologists if uh, they work in the deep layers of the patient uh, particularly used when abdominal incisions are made as well as closed Uh, then we have the divers uh, retractor uh, it is basically used to hold back the abdominal wall uh, during abdominal or the thoracic uh, procedures uh, it may be used to move or hold organs away from the surgical sites especially in during the cholecystectomy uh, this is the bp holder which is used to hold the knife basically it's of the different sizes it's uh, it is named after the two persons barb and the parker that's why it is known as a bp holder now we have the curved mayo scissors and the straight mayo scissors straight mayo scissors is used uh, to cut the dressings while the uh, curved uh, mayo scissors is used to cut the rectus sheath muscle and the fascia it's straight uh, then we have the plain forceps in our hand it is used to grasp the tissues and stabilize the tissues uh, now we have the uh, tooth forceps it has the uh, pointed tooth on its ends and it is used to hold the tissue uh, while suturing now uh, this is the gut holding forceps uh, to hold the gut it's non traumatic it's totally gentle uh, then we have the crushing intestinal forceps uh, you can clearly see the lines across the lines on its uh, edges so in the close up view across the lines it's a crushing uh, category of the intestinal cramp uh, we used in the resection in osteomosis and then on the screen we have the ls forcep basically it's a <coughs> surgical instrument which has sharp teeth it is used to hold or grasp heavy tissues it's also used to grasp uh, fascia and the soft tissues uh, such as breast or the bowel tissue <coughs> uh, you can clearly see the sharp teeth at the end then on the screen you are seeing the sponge holding forcep basically it is used to hold the sponge or the gauze uh, when we are painting the patient in any very initial step uh, with the help of the pyodin you can clearly see the horizontal lines so it's a sponge holding we have holded the sponge we during painting and draping process well these are the different right angles uh, retractors it is used for holding back multiple layers of the different tissues deep tissues often it is used in appendectomy uh, c section and the laparotomy blade is right angled uh, concave and has a slight slip at the tip then we have the towel clip uh, in our screen uh, to hold the towels uh, to fix the towels during the uh, draping process uh, then we have the babka forceps 
they are used to grasp the delicate tissues they are frequently used in the intestinal and the laparotomy procedures uh, they were uh, similar to the LS4 uh, but they are considered less traumatic due to their wider rounded and the uh, grasping surface Uh, now we have the non crushing intestinal clamp. Uh, in the close of view, you can clearly see the horizontal lines on its uh, ends. It is used uh, in the resection and astomosis. Now we have the artery forceps which are used for controlling bleeding and for the retraction of the tissues uh, skin. It's also known as the hemostatic uh, forceps uh, because it blocks the blood flow and tips uh, closes the blood vessels. It's also used to hold the tissue in the skin. On the screen you are seeing the needle holder. It is used to hold the needle uh, while suturing in the different uh, layers of the body. It has a groove on the internal surface. In the close of view, you can visualize easily locking and interlocking. But uh, at the last, uh, you are seeing the suction pipe. It's uh, sterilized, and uh, we have to take it in the laparotomy set. Thank you so much. Surgeon Dr. Ahmed Gilani is there, and today I will show you different uh, set of orthopedic instruments, basically used one by one with their identification points and also their use. So let's get start. Uh, the very first instrument uh, you are seeing on the screen basically it's a drill it is the most commonly used instrument in the orthopedics for creating holes in the bones before a uh, screw placement alongside you are seeing the different type of pins and the wires now uh, in the blackish it's a basically wire cutter alongside you are seeing the t handle also in the focused view this is known as handle uh, with its chuck and pin it's uh, manually operated it is also has got the same purpose but its power supply is not there uh, you are seeing now uh, which i am holding it's a pin i am fitting it into the chuck so in the very close of view uh, basically this uh, part is known as chuck it is used to hold the pins and alongside uh, this is the key which is used to tighten the drill so now uh, in the action you are clearly seeing we are applying uh, with the help of screwdriver we are tightening the screws uh, basically the instrument which i am uh, here uh, going to focus on the screen basically it's a nail extractor intramedullary nail extractor so in the close of view you are clearly seeing it's very close of view now, uh, this is the way we prepare drill for ortho uh, before surgery for orthopedic procedures this is the drill in action to create the hole in the bone before uh, screw placement uh, now uh, these are the different type of rimmers basically they are used to enlarging and finishing uh, to accurate dimension holes that have been uh, drilled bored or the cord they cannot be used to originate a hole those of you you are seeing the power rimmers this is the tissue protector it is used to protect the tissues during various orthopedic surgeries so in the close of view you are clearly seeing it so now you are seeing various type of screws on the screen they can be the cortical screws or the cancellous screws and they may be cannulated screws basically they are used to fix the implants which are used in orthopedics like uh, plates now the instrument you are seeing on the screen basically it's the osteotome basically it is used for cutting or preparing the bone Osteotome and the chisel looks alike, but the osteotome is beveled on both sides, but the chisel is beveled only on one the side on one side. So now you are seeing the most uh, commonly used implant in case of orthopedics. It's the basically intramedullary nail. It is most commonly used in case of femur fracture. Put it intramedullary into the intramedullary cavity. Uh, this is basically bone nibbler it is used to nibble the bone its uh, double action reduces the force which is required for cutting the bone the close of view you can easily visualize this instrument now uh, you are seeing the cock screw a femoral head extractor uh, for the removal of stuck intramedullary nail
in the close of view you can easily visual, easily visualize this thing so uh, the next instrument is the murphy lane bone skid widely used to retract the soft tissue and the muscle away from the bone now you are seeing the bone pusher this also has got uh, some use in the orthopedics this is uh, the rasp basically it is used in the orthopedic uh, procedures to shape or trim the bone surface and the cartilage this is also known as rasp it is also used in dental orthopedic and other general surgical procedures also this is the most commonly used instrument in the orthopedics it's the homens retractor this is mallet it is used to give the controlled tap or the pressure on the chisel or the osteotom so, uh, you are seeing basically bone holder they have long shanks and the strong jaws to hold and stabilize bone during orthopedic implant and other procedures once again you are seeing osteotom on your screen which i have already been discussed it's beveled on both sides uh, this is basically a square box osteotom it has got the same purpose as the osteotom but only the shape is different now you are seeing the external fixators and all the instruments uh, which we are discussing basically one by one in the close up view different type of bone holders osteotomes pliers mallets and homer retractors and the wire cutter also so in the close of view you are seeing all these instruments which we have already been discussed and some of them we are discussing ahead this is the most basic set of orthopedics you are seeing the wire cutter basically on your screen for cutting the k wires it has got essential instrumental function in orthopedics now again you are seeing homens retractor they are of different sizes which i have already discussed once again this is also mallet it's also of different sizes and it's most commonly used in orthopedics during intramedullary nail insertion of the long bones now these are also homens retractor of different sizes used basically in orthopedic instruments now you are seeing uh, bone plier on your screen basically it's used for cutting twisting and crimping wires and removing pins gripping and handling the tissues now once again again you are seeing osteotom and the chisel again i have already uh, discussed the difference between osteotom and the chisel osteotom is beveled on both sides while chisel is beveled on one side again you are seeing the different type of pliers which i have already uh, discussed used for cutting twisting crimping wires and removing pins uh, this is known as the bone curette it is used for debulking instrument commonly used in orthopedic procedures to scrape away and remove fibrous tissue the instrument uh, you are seeing on the screen basically it's a bone cutter and uh, used to cut the bones uh, in various orthopedic procedures especially in case of amputation also so in the next section again you are seeing different varieties and different categories of the bone holders and it's of different sizes uh, so in the close up view you are uh, seeing the bone holders used to hold bones uh, during in implant placement there are also different categories of the bone holders they can be locked with the help of screw once again you are seeing bone cutters again its double action reduces the force for cutting the bone Uh, this is the uh, basically wire bender used to bend the krishner wires and the other uh, categories of the wires used in various procedures once again you are seeing the bone nibbler on your screen for nibbling the bones
इट्स अ बेसिकली की विच इज यूज टू टाइटन द स्क्रूज वंस अगेन यू आर सींग द बोन एबलर ऑन यूर स्क्रीन इन द क्लोज ऑफ व्यू दिस इज द स्क्रू ड्राइवर विच इज यूज टू टाइटन द स्क्रूज इन वेन यू प्लेस द प्लेट्स इन अगेन यू आर सींग चिजल एंड द नेक्स्ट इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज ऑस्ट्यूटोम If you like our content if you learned something from our videos then do subscribe by clicking on the red button below so thank you so much